All right. The miraculous miracle remedy for opiate withdrawal. Not this. No, it's not this. But you know what? This is probably pretty close, though. It's the remedy for my life now. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Coronavirus. Okay. Okay, I first off, okay, first off, I apologize. Cuz I lied in the title. Just don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I have valuable information. You got to hear me out. You got to hear me out, okay? You got to hear me out. Okay. The reason why I made this video and I had the title be this title is because I see this all over YouTube. I know I, I, I've looked at some comments. I know that there's some people have, you know, people that watch these videos or checking out those videos and that video, you know, whatever. I just know that when you're about ready to freaking detox, you're looking for any miracle, any miraculous remedy or some thing that you can take that's going to just propel you into sobriety or get, you know, get you off opiates. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I just want to try to throw some, I'm, I'm going to th try to, th I'm going to throw some logic at you here, or I don't know, I don't know. If, if there really, think about this for a second, if there really was a, some miracle, some miraculous remedy, okay, that wasn't either addicting, it, it could possibly be addicting, it, uh, you know, you could possibly get addicted to it, or it could do damage to your body, or, or, or you get what I'm saying? I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. Yes, there, there's, there's stuff that you can do stupid yeah yeah you can you can take finibit or whatever you can i think that's how you say it you can take kratom you can i mean but there's you know you there's can be consequences to that yeah you can take gabapentin all the time and and help with this and this and this but you start taking it all the time you're gonna you know you take benzos all the time and then i'm not talking about you know that okay because because that to me that's not that's not miraculous that's just another another habit another slavery another you know what i mean um, here's the, here's the deal. Here, here's the logic, or this is kind of the, one of the points I wanted to make here. If there was such a thing as all you got to do is make a dose on vitamin C and you won't have any withdrawal symptoms. Oh, okay. Okay. Really? Okay. I make a dose of vitamin C. I've done this. If I, I've, I've, I've detoxed from opiates several times. Okay. It, it helps, okay? But the, but the point is, if that were really the case, or if you just had to do that, I mean, like, if you do this and take this, it's, you know, whatever. It's, you won't have any withdrawals, or I, I don't know. I can't, nothing, I can't think of anything right now. Why, would there be a bunch of people struggling like hell to get off opiates? I mean, think about that for a second. Like, when you see people's videos and they have some miraculous way to get off opiates, it's, it, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Like, no, it, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna have to work for it. It's all good. There's, there's things that you can do to help your situation and help, help the success rate and everything. But like, you get, you're gonna, you're gonna have to feel uncomfortable. Like, I'm sorry. And I'm not, it's, it's, I'm not, I'm not talking about anyone that I talk to specifically at all at like legit. Um, I, this is from, I was reading a bunch of other comments on other people's videos last night. Yes, I saw people I know on there asking the same questions that they asked me a month ago. And it's just like, dude, it's the same answer. It's, I, I you know, but whatever. Um, which I get, dude, I've been there. You get so desperate and you want to, you know, you, 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 you someone doesn't give you the answer you want. You want to go to the next thing. You want to go to the next thing. But dude, the thing is, is like, Dude, you're going to feel uncomfortable. You're not going to avoid it, okay? I mean, like, I'm sorry, but you kind of just have to freaking buck up and quit being a bitch about it. I'm sorry, I'm using that language. And freaking own it and take it and go through the crap. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. And I absolutely, like, I'm, dude, I'm talking to this sweet lady that's got freaking six kids, dude. Six kids and she's freaking gonna go for this and she was just asking me some questions about this and this and I was straight up with her. She took it really good, actually. Didn't you know? Some some people they just like it's like they can't even fathom feeling uncomfortable. It's like, yeah, dude, that's what happens when you're freaking on opiates, when you're using for years. Yes, there's consequences to this. I mean, like, 
I, I don't know what else to tell you. There's not a freaking miracle. There's things that you can do. I th honestly, I think the best thing to do, you get that arsenal of crap. Okay, I mean, you, you, yeah, you take, you take the supplements, you do the vitamin C, you stay hydrated, you do the electrolytes, you do the stretching, you do the exercise, you take, you take sleep aids and whatever, you take melatonin and Benadryl and valerian root and, and if you can get Ambien or Trazodone or both or what, I mean, you, in those acute stages especially. Uh, now for pause and stuff, yeah, dude. There, there's now Trexone, dude. There's uh, psilocybin, dude. Dude, like psychedelic stuff and like low doses is very interesting stuff. Dude, a lot of interesting literature on that uh, and, and success stuff with that. But uh, for, that's for the post acute, and the post acute's gonna suck, dude. Th that's the thing too. It's like <laughs> you're not going to avoid it. I mean, I'm just trying to like. I don't know. I don't want this to be like a mean video. I guess I kind of I lied on the title, but whatever. I've lied before. I've lied. I've lied about way worse stuff before. But the thing, that, and, and dude, I'm not gonna get into everything that you can take for opiate withdrawal. I have other videos, you know, uh, with with of that of of crap that you can do, crap that you can take for opiate withdrawal, preparing for opiate withdrawal. I go over everything that I took and take uh i've you know i don't know i got i don't know i even have another video of like the biggest stuff that helped me it was non-medication stuff but it was all the stuff that helped me the most that wasn't medication or supplements actually uh but uh you, you can do all the right things that's what you should do but but here's the it, it starts with you wanting it you gotta want it okay if you are if you are constantly obsessed if you are constantly obsessed with watching YouTube videos and trying to figure out how you can avoid these withdrawals, but yet get clean. You're wait, quit it. You're wasting your time. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to watch a bunch of people that don't, that are either lying or they don't know what the hell they're talking about or, or whatever. They're going to, they're going to lead you down, uh, lead you astray. Okay. And, and like, like for like mega dosing vitamin C, for instance, yes, do that. But you can't just take you can't just take absolutely gaudy amounts of vitamin C. It metabolizes through your liver, dude. You need to you need to make sure. Don't just do. You know what I mean. You really need to research stuff, like stuff like that. That you know you got to just research it. Make sure what you're doing is even safe. Okay. I mean, does it does it sound logical that vitamin C would somehow? <laughs> Uh, get your opioid receptors working again or something. I mean, I mean, there, there's some stuff uh, that that you hear a lot on YouTube that is just some of it's freaking weird, dude. Some of it I haven't even, you know, you see it. Uh, oh man, I wish I could think of more examples. I, I didn't write anything down as always, but the point is, dude. Like I said, there is there is no miracle. There is no some. There's no remedy that's just gonna just gonna do it. You you can do all the. You can taper as low as you want and feel less in the acute. You could. There's things that you can do to lessen it. Yes, I'm not saying that there isn't things that you can do and, and ways to prepare and stuff to make this uh, it hurt as as little as possible. But regardless. You're gonna have to not take opiates. You're gonna feel uncomfortable. You're gonna go through post-acute withdrawals. You're gonna have you're gonna have to work without having energy. You're gonna have to take care of your kids without having energy. You're gonna have to uh, try not to be a jerk when you're agitated. You're gonna have I mean like there it just on and on. You're gonna have diarrhea indefinitely. You're not gonna sleep in very good indefinitely. Da da da. I mean on and on and on. It's very hard. Like I said, if it if there was a miracle remedy. Don't you think that maybe there wouldn't be an opioid crisis? I mean, I don't know if it was like, oh, hey, I mean, and then people are going to tell you, well, it's because big pharmaceutical companies want to keep you down and stuff. And it's like, dude, no bullcrap. Dude, the vitamin C companies would freaking be like, shit, we're going to make money. Excuse my language. But it's just, it's stupidity. It's stupid, okay? Uh, to, it, it, to, to get, to start going down that road and stuff. It's like, well, there's money to be made here too. Dude, there's money to be made. Dude, it's, it's actually, it's funny, you know, yeah, there's big money to be made in big pharma companies. There's big money to be made in Kratom business. There's big, big money being made in recovery business right now. Okay. It's not just, dude, it, it's, it's everywhere and it, it, people, but there, there's good people with good motives all around. Okay. Uh, in the recovery, there's doctors that give Suboxone that do have good motives. I have one of those doctors, but yeah, there's a lot that they're just making their money. That's it's money, money, money. That's what it freaking is, dude. 
Uh, but I'm telling you right now, if if a vitamin or something could just get you that 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 company would be like bullcrap. We're making big money. We're gonna market this as a mirror. I mean, like think about it. Just think about it. It's just you know. So anyway, do all the right freaking things. Do all the right things and want it. Quit looking for the easy peasy way out because it doesn't exist. I've done this for years, you guys. I freaking have gotten off every opiate imaginable. Okay, uh, it all just is not fun. Okay. But but you can do things that help, okay? God bless. V for victory. Keep going. Sorry for lying on the title. But like I said, dude, I've lied about way worse things. So I think God will let this one pass. Hopefully. Probably gets... I already have the coronavirus. So anyway, just joking. Okay, God bless all y'all and salute.